All right, YouTube, it is Saturday, January 23rd. Stuff seller here, and I'm gonna go over some stuff that I picked up over the weekend. Actually, yesterday, I went to a garage sale and an estate sale, and I thought I picked up some pretty good items that I'll show you here in a minute. But first, I wanted to kind of update you on some of the vintage NFL apparel that has sold. Um, I've sold uh, a few things already. I have a lot of things listed. I have a lot of things that I haven't listed. So uh, keep an eye on my store if you're interested in any of that NFL apparel. I actually picked up some NFL stuff, or not NFL. Well, yeah, one NFL item and a couple of uh, vintage baseball items that I'll be showing you here real soon. So first up is a Kansas City Chiefs hat that I sold on McCurry. You'll see that here on the screen. Sold for $35. I netted about $30 on it. So that just sold on McCurry. Packed that up, sent it out. Next is the Philadelphia Eagle shirt. This was a real cool shirt. It had a all over print on the front and the back. Um, I had it listed for $49.99 and I ended up taking a best offer of $40, which I think was kind of low. I should have counted at $45 but um, it was a late night uh, offer that came in and I just clicked accept and it got it. So they got it for 40 bucks and it's actually going to Philly. The next thing is a uh, Chargers Gates jersey. This is a jersey I had for a little while. This wasn't part of that, uh, my last video, but it ended up selling for $17 um, on eBay. The next thing is the vintage buffalo bill shirt that sold pretty quickly as soon as i listed it that thing uh sold probably within 24 hours and that thing sold for 30 bucks and yes it's going to new york so 30 bucks on that shirt there and lastly is the uh, chargers 2006 sweater um, again that is something that i had wasn't part of the last video i've had that one for a while and that sold for 24 dollars and 99 cents so some good sales so far on the nfl now that's just the nfl stuff if you want to see everything that i sold go to my ebay store link and you can see everything that has sold everything that i have listed and you can check out my whole store so let me show you now what i picked up and what what will be going into my store here very soon so stand by. Okay, so here's the stuff I picked up today. Check out that shirt. Vintage Padres 1984 World Series shirt. Pretty cool. We'll be going over that. So first up, I went to a garage sale. And the reason I went is in the listing, they said they had a cube game and uh so i got there early i was the first one there or one of the first ones and i asked did you have the game and they pulled it out of the garage they hadn't pulled it out yet they pulled it out and i looked it over she initially wanted 75 dollars for the box i'm including these uh with the games and i offered her 50 and she took it so it is a nintendo gamecube black she said everything works of course i'll test it out it's got a couple of controllers. Looks like that one's maybe an aftermarket. It's got all the wires. Um, and then the games. The games are pretty good. Uh, so we got Medi Metroid Prime. And uh, I checked, they're all in there. Metroid Prime. We got Luigi's Mansion. Again, they're all in there. Luigi's Mansion. These are all pretty good games. I think I'll get uh, my money back plus just on the games. Eternal Darkness. I think this one's a good one. Mistaken. I looked up some of them up. Prince of Persia. I don't think this one's that valuable. Uh, that's the book for Meteoroid. Uh, Rebel Strike. And the Hulk. All GameCube games with the GameCube. So that was 50 bucks. 
the same sale. Picked up some DVDs. They wanted two bucks a piece on the DVDs. This one, surprisingly, is pretty rare. The Cranberries Live. Uh, as you know, the lead singer of the Cranberries, as you know or may not know, the lead singer uh, passed away, I believe, last year. So, I looked this one up, and there was only one that was listed, and they wanted like 75 bucks. I seen a few that sold within the $20, $30 range, so this is a good pickup. Not sure what I'll list it for yet, but uh, I'm going to get it listed. Rush, 30 World Tour. Didn't really look this one up, but I know Rush has a big following. Um, so this will probably sell within the $20 range. Uh, this movie here, Tiger Claws 2. Look this one up, and this one is kind of a rare movie, I guess. It's probably a $15, $20 range. And then The Golden Girls um, second season. The Golden Girls actually does pretty well. I actually sold a whole set of the Golden Girls at one time and I think I got like $60, $70 for it. So I don't know, maybe this will sell for $15, $20. Bucks. We'll see. But some good uh, good DVDs there and the good box here. So total for this box is $58. Uh, then total over here was $60 for everything you see here. So we'll go over the shirts first of all. So like I said, this is pretty cool. It's a um, 1984 World Series San Diego Padres against the Tigers. And you always look at the tags. Uh, made in USA, obviously. Single stitch. So a very nice shirt there. There is some wear, there's some staining, but uh, this is a nice shirt. Now there was another one. Unfortunately, this one, they cropped it at the bottom. So it's kind of like a half shirt almost, I guess. But I think it would still sell. And we'll see. So again, uh, vintage, made in the USA. Vintage tag. Same shirt. But this is a Duran Duran. 1983 um, this one did not have the tag but again it's single stitch uh, there's nothing on the back I thought maybe they'd be uh, a tour thing on the back so this is just a vintage Duran Duran shirt I'm thinking it's maybe from a concert not sure this is um, a Cub Busters shirt I think the Padres played the Cubs in the playoffs back in the 80s. Again, vintage shirt. Let's see here, what does this say? Hmm. Sorry. Yep, Maine, the USA. Single stitch. Cool graphic there. Cub Busters. And then this is a, a concert shirt for a new edition. A new edition, I'll be sure, and Bobby Brown. And this is dated, uh, I don't know, I can't, 1980? I'm not sure, I have to look closely on that. Let's look at the tag here, see what this says. Good. Made in the USA, 100% cotton, single stitch. So, pretty cool shirt there. Uh, let's see if there's, oh yeah, there's some stuff on the back. So, oh, 1988 New Edition Heartbreak Tour. Pretty cool. So, we got that. Uh, then we got this Empire Strikes Back Yoda plastic outfit. Didn't have the mask, this is from 1980. Didn't have the mask, just the, the plastic outfit, but I still thought it was pretty cool and I picked it up. Uh, this US Border Patrol jacket, it's a green jacket with the P Border Patrol patches on it. I thought that was pretty cool. Let's 
Let's see here. This is just one patch. It's got the liner. Let's see what this says here. Made in the USA. Good to go. Now this is a jersey number 72. Uh, let's see. On field Reebok. I don't think this is an authentic jersey with all this bubbling here. But um, this number 72. Yumin Yora. I remember that name. I can't uh, remember if it is a, this is a Giants jersey or a Detroit Lions. I'm gonna say Giants. Oh yeah, there you go. New York, duh. So New York Giants jersey, number 72, Yumin Yuminora. Uh, Reebok. Again, 60 bucks for everything. Um, I always pick up things in new packages. This is pretty old from the 19th 1978 so this is a dress Barbie dress 1978 in the package and this is another uh, outfit here it says Maxi not sure close fit Maxi her friends 1988 Hasbro so yep those should go for pretty good money there. Um, this is a Camelback. And the reason I picked this one up is it is a military. USMC Tactical Hydration System. So it looks like this is military issued. I have to see if everything's intact there. I don't see the... The device that you uh, the straw device that you uh, get the water from so I'll have to do a little research on that but yeah that's pretty cool so these dolls here this is um, obviously Ken and this is 1968 so picked him up uh, this is Barbie's uh, little sister I want to say oh here we go skipper there you go skipper 1963 she does have some stuff on the leg maybe that'll clean up <clears throat> and then these uh, applause dolls are all Dick Tracy and I sold this one first I thought it was pretty cool I forget his name the villain but these were $11.99 back in the day at Long's oh pruny I guess pruny so we got Pruny, we got uh, Madonna that played uh, his lover, we got Dick Tracy, and I don't know who this guy is, Itchy, Itchy, they're all dusty and dirty, gotta get them cleaned up, don't know if there's value here, but I thought the whole set was pretty cool, uh, this little witch face, don't know where that belongs to, it was just there, and uh says japan on it halloween stuff always does good so this chargers cup i like the graphics on it it's kind of like a hologram graphic and uh let's see if it has a year it doesn't have a year it doesn't say the city it just says uh nfl it does say usa on the bottom so i thought it was a cool cup this here is uh, some kind of souvenir brick from the Super Bowl. Jack Murphy Stadium. This stadium actually is getting demolished. This was Denver, Washington. This is where Washington just came out blazing. Um, I forget who the quarterback was, African-American guy. Williams, I think was his last name. But uh, he just lit Denver on fire and just, uh, I remember watching that. He just killed Denver. Yep, those were the good old days back in San Diego when we had uh, NFL. Unfortunately, we don't have that anymore. And then uh, the Nerf. I saw somewhere that these Nerf footballs go for pretty good money. So I saw this in the garage and I just picked it up. I haven't looked it up yet, but uh, I thought it was pretty cool. I like the colors on it. Lastly are these 
you see the dirt on there. Nylant wheels. These are just the wheels, four wheels. And I thought that's pretty cool. This somebody that needs the wheels, we're gonna want these. So we'll get those listed. So yeah, check out my store. This stuff will be, uh, be on there in the coming weeks. And uh, if you do see anything you like, let me know and uh, we can make a, a deal. Oh, shoot, I got one more thing. So part of that deal here also was this kind of a throw blanket, San Diego Padres, Khalil Green. He used to be a, a player with the Padres. Um, I just kind of like the whole graphics on there. So yeah, got this throw blanket. Part 60 bucks. So not bad. Check out my store. Like, subscribe for more content. Thanks. Have a, have a great day.